Hey, wait, take us inside. What's it like? Obviously, you know you're missing a ton of firepower. So what's it like going out there and trying to compensate for that and trying to find a way to sort of like Coach says, to show you have enough? Yeah, um, I mean, of course, we got some guys out the lineup tonight. Um, so, you know, we just wanted to find a way to rally around each other and, you know, do whatever it takes to get the win. Um, we came up a little short in the second half, couldn't really um, get the ball in the basket. And um, they hit some good shots. They were moving the ball well. Um, got some nice looks in the zone, man. So, um, you know, it's tough. They obviously have a championship DNA team. So we're just trying to, you know, um, figure out ways to just get wins at this point in the season. Uh, you know, tonight was just a night that we just, you know, couldn't pull it together. H. Spo made a comment saying that your defense, especially in the first half against CP3 and stuff, was, was inspiring to him, and he hoped it was inspiring to the rest of the team. What was the experience like trying to stay in front of those and pressure those two Hall of Fame point guards and then defend them in the half court? Yeah. Um, so, you know, when, um, in the zone, we run 22. You know, that's the time where we can really get after, you know, the guys, make them, you know, wear on them and make them uh, burn some calories, you know, and try to just work them, you know, pick them up full court, turn them a couple of times, see if we can maybe get a trap, um, you know, maybe get a steal, something like that. So, um, you know, for me, I was just being aggressive, trying to make some plays. And, um, yeah, just, you know, Coach, uh, he trusts me at the top of the zone, picking up full court pressure. So, you know, me, DeLon, Caleb, Terry, um, you know, just trying to just wear on them and, uh, you know, he uh, used the phrase uh, 48 minutes of, I'm not going to say the word, though, but we didn't, uh, it was it was tough, yeah. Hey, would you mention that the tides changed in that second half? What exactly was Golden State doing that really clogged the, you know, the, the heat offense there? I don't think they were really doing anything too specific. Um, I just think we just missed some open looks, kind of let our um, defense kind of affect our offense. You know, we're not defending sometimes, you know, we uh, – Get a little slow down our pace, and um, you know they're scoring. We're not we're not getting the ball out quick. We're not running. Not getting steals, deflections, running. Um, so it was just tough. We just wasn't. It just wasn't consistent enough on offense, and we wasn't moving the ball side to side. Um, had a couple, couple turnovers maybe or something like that. But uh, yeah, it was just they were they not not doing nothing too crazy, for sure. Hey, well, you you guys were in a similar position last season, just trying to avoid the, the playing tournament with ten games left. I guess what's the sense of urgency, desperation, like, you know, down the stretch here? And how, how often are you guys looking at the standings at this point, just after games? Yeah, um, I mean, like right now, I said earlier, we're just trying to just find ways to win games. You know, we got, what, 10, 10 nine games left, something like that. So just trying to finish the season strong, trying to build some momentum, hit into the playoffs, whether that's in the play-in or not in the play-in. Um, you know, I looked at the standings a couple of times. I'm pretty sure we can catch the sixth seed. We put some wins together. I don't know about the fifth seed or fourth seed, but um, – you know, right now we're seventh. You know, that's the reality, and we gotta live in that. And uh, we'll figure out ways to get some wins in these next coming, these next games coming up, and you know, see if we can move up in the rankings. If we can't, you know, we'll stay where we at and figure out a way to, you know, win the play-in game and uh, get ready for the actual playoffs. No problem. Bam, how tough it ob obviously without so many scoring weapons was it out there to try to find a game to get enough points on the board, especially to keep up with guys like Curry and Clay? Uh we've been in situations like this before. Um we we've had situations where we've been out man <clears throat> backs against the wall and then we come out with wins. We just didn't get this one. Bam, you talked many times about if the shots are not falling, then the defense sort of kind of goes with that. Do you feel like that's what happened in the second half? Was Golden State doing something specific? Uh, no, I think Clay was just hitting tough shots. Um, him and Steph down the stretch, they were hitting tough shots. And uh, obviously, you know, those two guys, they generate a lot of attention. So, you know. When you have that much attention on you and you making shots, it, it allows other guys to get going, you know, get get uh get their self involved in the game. Ben, we've seen many times over the years where when you guys are shorthanded, you you kind of have to take on an even greater load, and with that comes some tough shots, tough, tough attempts. Is there a way, just in terms of the overall shot profile on that light tonight, to make it easier on yourself, or are those tough shots really just what's required? What's required with who's available? Uh, I feel like it depends on the flow of the game. Sometimes you got to go get a tough bucket. Uh, sometimes you might get an easy layup. But, you know, for us, it's, and me, it's creating the action. 
uh, making something happen. Sometimes it's a tough bucket. Sometimes guys are open. Uh, you know, it's just reading the game. Bama looked like you took a shot to the head there in the first half. Um, your coach wasn't thrilled, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, three guys uh, probably should have seen that. Um, then you were down for a while. How, how concerned were you at first, and was there any lingering effects in the second half? Nah, uh, I had to make sure I was all right. Um, so that's why I stayed down. I had to make sure, you know, nothing was seriously wrong because, you know, you've seen a lot of guys get hit in the head and it could be concussion or, or, or neck strain. Um, for me, it was just really um, depending on I can get up. And then uh, obviously, you know, you got that whisper in the back of your ear. Well, for me, it was my mom to tell me get up. Uh, so <clears throat> shook it off and uh, got back to the game. And you guys were obviously in a similar position last year trying to avoid the play. And what's the level, the sense of urgency, um, you know, with 10 games left? And, and how often are you peeking at the standings these days? We take it game by game. You know, I feel like every game at this point is must win. And <clears throat> you, you start to understand it starts to become playoff time. So games start to become different. Uh, even in the, these last 10 in the regular season, games are starting to slow down. You know, it's going to start becoming possession by possession because we're not the only team that wants to get out of the play in. Uh, so you'll start to see that shift. Black Lives Matter, people.